So um, I'm just back into the fire imports here and so that we can work on the render of the fire and the lighting I'm just going to drop here a volume uh, resample okay so this will it's pretty self-explanatory resample the volume so you know we don't have so many voxels I'm just going to drop this down to 0.5 visualize that and then I've got this set to manual so I'm going to set it to auto update and then you'll see the uh, the volume in the viewport and we'll see that it has um, a bit less uh, resolution than than what we cached out earlier there we are um, we can just maybe make the background dark so we can see it there we go and we can see if I press uh, the information here we got 25 million voxels there and up here we've got 203 okay so it's quite um it's a lot less uh, but you know it'll, it'll be a lot more interactive so I, yeah i want to look at um rendering this now i'm going to add a material first of all so let's just go ahead and drop that material i'm going to hide that let's go into our matte context and make a redshift material no uh, redshift material builder I think I can use for this uh, so redshift material builder okay and then dive inside here and drop uh, remove this and drop a volume RS volume connect that up to the volume there okay and then we'll call this fire. We'll obviously come back and configure those, um, you know, the values in a moment. There we go. So that's um, applied there. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter if we do it out here because we've only got the fire. Uh, we're only rendering the fire from here. Let's view that. Um, so we also need a redshift, uh, the redshift. Uh, ROPs, you know, these outputs. Let me just, um, you know, try and make this a bit more efficient. So let's make this half resolution, which is probably set to HD on the camera render there. Um, and then samples are fine. There's no global illumination for the moment. So it should be pretty fast. Let's, uh, I think we can take a look at that now. So let's go into our Let's find a redshift render view. Good, and just hit a render on that. There we are. So um, we're seeing something. Obviously, it doesn't look like fire um, yet. So uh, let's start taking snapshot. So take snapshot there. You can see it down here. And let's go back into our material and work on that. So first things first, let's get it kind of looking like fire. So if we come down to the emission, I think here, and use that flame field, well now it's a flame volume, um, and color down here, flame as well. Oops, not lame, <laughs> flame. And um, we'll start out by, hopefully we've got black body here. Again, we'll pr probably play around with these colors. Um, I've done flame down there again, flame. There we go. Um, and that should give us some fire. Let's see, let's just uh, click the IPR render. There we go. So, Again, yeah, doesn't look fantastic, but we're seeing smoke and fire separately. Um, let's grab another snapshot of that. Great. Okay, um, so what we can also, if we come into the advanced tab here, is um, play around with the values coming in. Okay, so kind of push the density of the smoke in here, we can do that. 
Um, also the same with the fire. So the um, you know the the intensity of the fire. So I'm going to push up the fire substantially. Let me set this to ten here. So it's way brighter. Okay. And then come back into the colors here. And let me start um, working on these colors. So I want a black on, on this side and a black. I'm just going to bring this white in here and drop a black over to the other side. There we go. So you see what that's doing? It's kind of clipping off the end there. So that now we're starting to get some nice details. Okay. I'm going to bring this in. I don't like this kind of harsh red. I mean, maybe I can, so if you just click, you know, anywhere along here, you can grab the color. So that's one way of getting some interesting colors. Kind of get more of an orange. So I'm going to delete this one. Bring this one over. This yellow, I'm going to get a bit of a less kind of saturated one. Maybe here. Delete that. Okay. Bring that over. And then bring this yellow over as well. Oh yeah, so it's looking much better so far. So far, sorry. Can also push up the scale here a bit. Get some more pop to it. Look at that. Okay, getting real sense of kind of heat now. Great. Um, with the density. So for the color, I think we'll need to drop density in here. Not sure if it'll make any difference actually, but just in case. So with the uh, absorb absorption coefficient and scatter coefficient, that will affect the brightness of the density okay, and how the light kind of passes through um, whether it reflects back towards the, the source of light or um, passes through. Um, in our case, well, we at the moment we don't have any light set up. There's light, you know, coming from the emission of the fire. Um, I think, I'm not sure if in Redshift also we'll just have a headlight, just like in Mantra, which will be lighting this up. So I'm going to set this to 5. You can see that brightening up there. Uh, maybe get get to give it a tiny bit of color. One thing you can do doesn't really make sense with the smoke, but just to show you, um, is you can set these colors by temperature. Okay, so you can see these lower temperatures give you these oranges, and then the higher temperatures give you blues. It's a nice way uh, for setting lights. I often do this, um, and I find some kind of really weak orange, something like that. Um, let me, I'm just going to change this to one here and then maybe both of these points, so that we on 0 0.9, 0 0.85, just something really subtle. Prefer not to use, you know, just a solid white, um, wherever I can. Great. And for the absor absorption, set that to three. Okay, allowing a bit more lights to pass through there now. Great, that looks good. Let's uh, let's run a you know a bit of a cleaner render on that. There we go, and then take another snapshot here. Okay, so we can look through the difference there. You know, you can see here we're kind of picking up these nice detailed um, lines, you know, they're, they're kind of uh, getting lots of intricate um, little details here. Here, they're, they're kind of, we're losing that. That comes from playing around with these um, these colors. Okay, so don't just um, leave that on the standard black body, you know, play around with these colors, add kind of stripes, do things like, you know, you can have a chunk of black in the middle or at the start, like we've done here. You know, it doesn't have to be black, red, orange, uh, yellow, white. You can, you know, 
play around add some a little bit of blue in there you know it's kind of you know we often have blue in in fire as well um you know it's good to just experiment play around with that and play around with the the values in here as well okay um but i think um i'm quite happy with this as it is uh, right now 